almost feel like a pressure just sort of all those muscles releasing and, and it was just, it was very, very nice. Calm Birth is a set of prenatal meditation practices. They are self-care practices that we teach women as early as possible in pregnancy to enhance health and healing, to restore immune system function, um, restore sense of energy and well-being, but mostly it would, I would say it is a set of self-care meditation practices for reducing stress and enhancing optimal health in preparation for birth. Regular relaxation teaches us how to maybe let go of some tension, but in a non-healing way. The difference between regular relaxation and the neuromuscular tension release of calm birth is the healing aspect. The releasing of the stressors on the muscular system that impacts the functioning of the nervous system. So by learning the three practices of calm birth, a woman is able to teach herself practices that help her heal those neuromuscular tensions. Um, some of the benefits of calm birth for someone in labor. The, the greatest benefit would be if they had learned the practices prior to coming into labor and delivery and had developed regular meditation practice for themselves. Once in labor and delivery, they can use the practices of womb breathing and the other practice of giving and receiving to enhance optimal oxygenation and energy levels for herself and the baby throughout labor. Some of the myths would be that if someone takes calm birth, then they're going to be in labor, they won't make a sound, they won't move, they'll be very sedate and statue-like. If you take calm birth, you can't have an epidural or you're going to feel like a failure if you have an epidural or a C-section. In all honesty, calm birth gives a pregnant or laboring woman the opportunity to connect with her own inherent capabilities and to make wise, compassionate choices for herself in labor. The women who are seeking to learn the calm birth prenatal meditation practices is very varied. I've had the opportunity to teach women who are having their third baby, who had difficult transitions into motherhood from one child to the next in terms of that responsibility. I've had women who had a very challenging first labor, felt very disrespected, almost traumatized by their experience, and they're looking to say, I need this to be different. I'm a high risk, for, you know, I'm older, so um, we'll just, my, my intent is not to be rigid and say I have to have a natural childbirth, it's to say this is what, something I can do to give myself the best chance and the be most confidence for myself going into this, you know, very exciting and challenging event. The reason why I chose to um, pursue calm birth and to keep practicing after taking the class is the hope that if it won't help me to avoid certain kinds of interventions, I'm hoping to have a natural childbirth. Um, at least it will help me feel better about them and get through whatever might happen or any unforeseen complications with a bit more um, calm, calmness or a bit more um, feeling that I'm actually still part of the process, that I'm not alienated from it and that I've still been able to make choices that I feel good about. The breathing and centering techniques that it has are incredibly relaxing and at first I actually had a hard time doing the practices without falling asleep which was actually really nice since a lot of uh, pregnant women talk about how much trouble they have sleeping. I found that every time I put the CD on at first in the middle of my pregnancy I would just fall into a really deep restorative sleep and that was wonderful. Now I can actually stay awake, I have a little bit more energy and I feel that those are sort of techniques that will be helpful as a new mom. I love being a labor and delivery nurse and the opportunity with calm birth, which so excites me and ignites my passion even more, is that there is an opportunity for women to do something for themselves in preparation for birth. That maybe the, the interventions still need to take place, but if and when they take place, a woman will be treated with more reverence. And then whatever happens in her labor will not be a cause of trauma or another reason that she has to do some deep healing in order to be able to become a mother, but she will be able to move forward from this experience feeling empowered, feeling exhilarated in a way, or vitalized saying, wow, I did this.